Friday night football in Yangon takes place a long way from the turf. Booming construction projects have destroyed many of the city's green spaces, leaving fans with few places to play. But hopes are growing that grassroots projects like a new FIFA Academy will kickstart a revival of Myanmar's football scene and boost support for the national team. I don't like how the Myanmar national team plays. They need a lot of work. I hope that with time we will be successful now that there is more support for the game. Myanmar's footballing heyday was in the 1960s and 70s when it was ranked among the best teams in Asia. But they faded as junta rule saw the economy disintegrate and the country's sporting infrastructure become neglected. The country's economy needs to improve and the political situation should be stable. After that, sports can grow again. Myanmar's Football Federation is scouting for talent in 52 cities to fill more than 200 places in its three academies, including at the FIFA facility in Yangon. Trainers from English Premier League clubs, including Arsenal and Everton, have also trained dozens of local coaches in a bid to raise standards. Most international football federations can access very talented players easily. All they need to do is choose the best players to play for the country. But we at the MMF have to dig down to the grassroots. But Myanmar is currently ranked outside the world's top 100. So the goal of recapturing its footballing glory days could well be some way off.